Hello, well I've caught up with gold medalist Julian Golding here um, at one of his training places actually, just to get a few words really while he's in the middle of his training. Julian, hi. Hi, how do you? Really nice to meet you. Good. So we've just kind of cut in, I'm sorry, on your, on your training and uh, how often do you come down here, say, and train? I know it's not your main training ground. Yeah. It's not a main training ground, I normally come here about three to four times a week. Um, they have, they've got some weight facilities here that we use, so I come out here, do the weights, and come out and use a track and they do our session. Well, I have been seeing a bit of your, your warming up and we'll see a little bit later on. Yes, but, see more. I mean, congratulations obviously in, in, in winning your gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. It's, how did it feel? It was a wonderful achievement for me. Um, I was very disappointed winning the bronze medal at the European Championships. Um, but that really spurred me on. I used my disappointment there and focused all that, all, all that energy into winning a gold medal at Kuala Lumpur. So I was really happy about that and I've got a lot, I've got a lot, a lot of uh, faith and, and strength from God as well and that helped me as well to refocus and to run my own race and uh, that's what I did in Kuala Lumpur and I came over two gold medals. Brilliant. So I mean injuries obviously you know people get plagued by them from time to time. Now I was out at the Sydney Games and I was really sad to know that you you were struck by a virus there. How did you know how did you cope with that? It was a major impact on me. It was very, dis very disappointing, very um, heart rendering for me. I trained all year in, in California, mm. preparing for the Olympic Games, preparing for the trials, and uh, all, all my focus that year was preparing to compete at the Olympic Games and winning the medal. And when my, when my goal didn't come to fruition, it, it, it is really hurtful. But we've got to use every, every negative experience, you've got to turn it around and make it positive. So for me, I've got to say to myself, well, at that time, it wasn't my time, but my time will come. And the, the World Indoor Championships looming, coming up. Right. How's your preparation going for so it? Far, a okay I'm injury free I'm healthy I'm fit I'm strong I'm getting stronger and you know my short term plan is to go to the uh, world indoors and not only win but you know just put my name back on the map I've had you know a couple of years out of injury now a lot of people have been down to me down to my ability now uh, you know so my aim just really got to enjoy it once again enjoy the sport once again and you know represent for Julian Golden and show people what Julian Golden can do. Well, Julian Golden is a crucial part of the 4x100 relay team. <laughs> yes. I mean, you got the bronze in the Worlds and then the year later you got the gold medal. I mean, incredible. What a celebration you, your team must have had. Oh, it was, it was fantastic. I mean, it was, it, was, it, was, it was more so a great celebration in Athens in, in 97 because our team was expected to do well. We were just there really to make up the numbers. And when we got our bronze medal, people actually looked and thought, well, you know, Great Britain team can do well. They can go to major championships and not drop the baton. You know, it's been an omen in our team for so, so many years now. But we went there and we represented and we showed, you know, the rest of the world what, what, what Great Britain can do. And to go to the following year, to go to the, uh, the um, European Championships and Commonwealth Games and win two gold medals, fantastic. How would you sum up the ideal weather conditions when you know you've got a great big competition coming up? What's the ideal weather conditions for an athlete like yourself? The ideal weather conditions for a sprinter is a lovely, balmy, hazy, warm evening. Um, coming from a day where it's been a, a, been a really hot day, it's not too hot, not too warm, no wind at all, nice, still and quiet, warm. Warm because the muscles really, really need heat, you know, it's really hard when the sprinters are going to compete when it's cold and it's windy. But, you know, a nice, still, still warm evening, nice, hazy, hazy sunshine and a day which is really, really nice and still. Sounds like a beautiful day to oh, me. wonderful day. <laughs> Well, as, as being part of your support team for this just few minutes, I'm a bit worried about your muscles in the cold weather. <laughs> so I might let you get on with the training and, and just uh, maybe catch up with you on your warm down, if Absolutely. that's okay. No problem it's been lovely, Julian. No Thank problem. you so Thanks much. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. No problem at really perform and fulfil my dreams and ambitions, and that's really to take home an Olympic medal. Um, I really would love to take home a gold medal. That's my aim. But at the moment now, I'm going to stay focused and stay confident and really to get there and really enjoy it. Well, I'm with you. I'm supporting you all the way <laughs> and I really look forward to, to seeing how you perform in the World Indoor Championships. Thank you so much for your time today, Julian. No problem at all. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, that's Julian. It's been fantastic today. An insight into the mind of an elite athlete and I uh, hope you've enjoyed following this series. I'm Claudia Sylvester. That's it from me today. Bye-bye.